Hello friends, this is Ramana. Today I will show a demo on how to get previous row and next row value of your column in a table. <coughs> so here I have one table called country which contains two columns, ID and country name. So I want to know the previous row and the uh, next row of country name column for, a, for every row. So how can I get Today I will show in this demo. So here, country name. So there are two Windows functions called lag and lead. By using lag and lead, we can derive the you know, desired result. So what lag will do? Lag will find lag will find the previous row, previous value of the row, and then. Uh, lead will find uh, next value of the row. So here both are Windows functions. Um, <coughs> so we need to power class is mandatory for Windows functions and order by order by now uh, I want to know the la country name. I am using the lag function. Country name inside the uh, lag inside the column name over order by ID. I am taking ID here. Here uh, I am giving the alias name as previous row value, comma. So I am taking country name as usual in, the, in our second select list comma now I am using the same for lead function I am changing the function as lead the syntax is same lead within braces column name over auto by id so this is how you need to frame the frame the script to get the uh, previous row value and to get the next row value and changing the area name as next row value so i am executing this so right now uh, country name poland is there for poland previous uh, name for poland is the, obviously it's null so you will see here so uh, this is the <coughs> country name column in table Poland, Poland previous row is null. Poland next value is Netherlands. For Netherlands, previous row is Poland, and then for Netherlands next row is Syria. For Syria previous row is Netherlands, and for Syria next row is Japan. In the same way, if you observe last country name, for Morocco next value is null, and previous value is Argentina. So for you will get null values for first value for lag function and for last row you will get the null value for lead function. So this is how you need to write the lead and lag by using lead and lag you can get the uh, previous row value and uh, next row value of a, any column of your table. This is one of the interview question there they might you ask to write the practically there before them so this is very useful hope this video has helped to uh, know something about this lag and la late functions thanks for watching the video thank you very much